My belly's hungry. We can eat lunch while this is cooking. Today we're making an easy, healthy dinner. Kids love this recipe. It's a mashup of two of the best cuisines, Mexican and Italian. Today we're making Mexican lasagna. It feeds a crowd. I love it because it's simple. It's got veggies, it's got protein. We're using gluten-free noodles. We are going to start off with turning our stove top on. <laughs> you wanna set it at about medium, medium high. Add a tablespoon or so of olive oil into your pan. And then what I have here is um, about a half of a medium yellow onion. It's a little bit of a sweeter onion. Um, and so it just goes so well as a base in this recipe. We're gonna throw this right in with the olive oil. So what you're looking for when you're cooking onions is you want a medium, medium high heat and the onions are gonna start to get translucent and start getting real soft and that's exactly what you want them to look like before you start going on to the next step. This just helps them soften, it releases some of the natural sugars in the onion and it's just such a great base for pretty much any recipe. So our onions are sizzling, they are sweating, they are doing exactly what we want them to do. We are going to add two different kinds of protein. First up, we're gonna add one pound of ground beef. And then when I was trying to come up with this recipe, I was like, what could add more flavor? Some chorizo came to mind. I love chorizo. So we're going in with a half a pound of chorizo. So we are just going to brown this. We're still at about a medium, medium high heat. Break it up the best you can. It is a simple recipe, you really can't make mess this up. Last a little bit. What's not cooking than making messes? You wanna break this up until um, no pink remains and um, we're gonna throw this in the oven after it's done, so it's gonna definitely be all the way cooked through, so don't worry about that, but you do wanna cook it until there's no more pink left in the ground beef. They make these handy dandy little meat smashers, grinders, that are really great. You can get them on Amazon. Um, we actually have one of those. I don't know why I'm not using it. <laughs> this smells so good. Our beef and our chorizo are cooked, so we're going to add a can of Rotel. This is just diced tomatoes and green chilies. So if you can't find Rotel, you can just get a can of diced tomatoes and a separate can of green chilies and you'll be good. Um, here we have a couple of different seasonings. We've got two teaspoons of smoked paprika. We've got two teaspoons of cumin. We've got one teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. This is what really gives it all of those Mexican flavors. Um, the cumin is just such a great spice. And then we've got um, the smoked paprika, which is a little smoky, a little sweet. It's just so good. And then we're going to add a half a cup of corn. And this is kind of where you can customize it a little bit if you want. Like if you want to add black beans, you could add black beans. That would be super good. Um, whatever other Mexican flavors you want to add to this, go for it. So you just mix it all up. It is completely combined. We're going to take this over to the counter and start assembling our lasagna. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to layer this lasagna. I've got a nine by 13 inch pan. We've greased it with a little olive oil spray. And now all we need to do is assemble. We've got our mix. We've got some enchilada sauce. I like to use an enchilada sauce that doesn't have a lot of added sugar. And then we've got our gluten-free lasagna noodles. These are ones that are pre-baked. I recommend that for this recipe or pre-cooked. You don't have to cook them in advance. And then we're gonna do two different kinds of cheese because I think it just tastes better when it's not just one plain cheese. So we've got this greased. Just gonna go in with a little bit of enchilada sauce. You don't need a ton at the bottom, but this is really just so that the noodles don't stick to the bottom. You do this in really any kind of lasagna recipe, spread it out so it's nice and even. And then we're going to start with a layer of noodles. 
it's okay if your noodles don't fit perfectly. All noodles are kind of different sizes, so um, as long as you kind of have a good layer, it's okay if there's gaps. Then we're gonna go in with some of our chorizo beef mixture. I have a recipe on my website for one pot taco pasta and it is one of the most popular recipes constantly getting tagged and mentioned in this recipe because moms and kids love it. And I figured let's make a different version of that. It's a Mexican themed inspired recipe. It's got gluten-free noodles. We know kids love it. So that is what we're doing today and it really is good. Center it out your mixture evenly. Then we're going in with the cheese. You wanna do about a third of the beef mixture and a third of the cheese and a third of, or a little bit of the sauce, cause we're gonna just keep layering this and you don't wanna run out of, you definitely don't wanna run out of cheese for the top layer because that's what makes it look really pretty. All right, a little more sauce. Some more noodles. This all just melts together in the oven and gets really soft and gooey and it is the bomb. I said the bomb. <laughs> and another layer. How many layers can we get? Okay. So there's gonna be some extra uh, fat at the bottom of the pan. That's totally okay. Just use a slotted spoon so that you're not getting any of those extra juices into the lasagna just because we don't need them. Um, and that way it doesn't get kind of soggy. We just want it really cheesy and gooey. We're going gooey texture. This is the last layer, y'all, three layers. Finish with some enchilada sauce. Oh, and then finish it off with the cheese. This gets really melty and kind of just spreads all over the top of the lasagna and bubbles up and gets nice and brown. And, and cooking color equals flavor. So when you got a little brown cheese, that's when you know it's good. Last little bit, do not waste any cheese. All right, this is gonna be killer. So we're gonna bake this for 30 minutes, covered in foil at 375. That way the cheese doesn't get really brown and crispy. We're gonna cover it for 30 minutes and then uncover it and cook it for 20 more minutes to make sure it's fully cooked all the way through. Pop this in the oven and say sayonara until 30 minutes. You're gonna let it cool for about 15 minutes so it settles and then so that way you don't, when you cut it, it doesn't just flop all over the place. So it's set, it's ready to go. You can see all this melty cheese. You can see the chorizo and the beef coming through and the noodles. It looks exactly the way a Mexican lasagna should look. The layers. So good. My favorite toppings for this Mexican lasagna are sour cream, pico de gallo, avocado, and fresh chopped cilantro. We're gonna add a little dollop of sour cream. Top it with some pico. Add a little bit of avocado. We're just going in with our fingers. And then cilantro to top it all off. This has layers of beef, chorizo, gluten-free lasagna noodles, cheese, tomatoes, rattel, all the good stuff. And then we're topping it with the best toppings. And this is what I call Taco Tuesday in a nine by 13 inch pan. <laughs> Just look at this. You see this? Oh my gosh. So good. Just a little bit of kick from the Rotel. So much flavor and fat from the chorizo and the all the spices in the ground beef. 
and a lot of freshness from all those delicious toppings. I'm gonna have one more bite because it's really good. Thanks so much for hanging with me today. You can find the full link to the recipe below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more wholesome, healthy recipes. I'm gonna finish eating this. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making some lasagna. And that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>